Welcome to my new apartment room. It's much bigger than the other room I was in. You can't really see it that well. There's my bed. It's very big and it's actually comfy. And then those sliding doors lead to my kitchen. My bathroom is there and my front door is there. So that's a lot of fun. Oh, and I have a, like a dresser over there. Anyway, um, I need to get a hold of a camera so that I can actually take pictures because I got to Korea and I realized that I didn't have a camera, which is really silly. Um, but anyway, um, that's so much fun that you get to go on all these travels in the near future. I'm excited for you. That's a long time to be gone. Although um, I can't, I'm like one to talk, I guess, since I'm going to be in Korea for a year. But um, I really love your videos. They make my day. I'm so glad that you that we make them. Um, I did jot down a little list so I would actually have things to say. So first of all, did you see the Fault in Our Stars movie? Slash, do you plan on seeing it? I I wasn't really sure if you were going to. I I'm not sure if you want to because of. Well, I'm sure you know why. <laughs> um, but I saw it and I don't know it was good like I'd rather read the book it, honestly it was kind of slow for me but a lot of people really really love it and there were a lot of like just teenage girls crying in the theater I saw like the special event the night before our stars thing and the interview portion afterwards was really cool I, don't, I feel like I've already talked about this have I talked about this if I have, I'm sorry. Anyway, if I haven't, there you go. Um, so I'm going to tell you one thing that has been uh, difficult slash interesting about work and one thing that's been interesting about Korea in general and then one thing that's been good about everything. So uh, one thing that's been kind of difficult at work is learning everyone's names like I have a lot of students um, not as like the school I work at is actually pretty small compared to other um, private school things hog ones but I still have a lot of students and learning their names is really hard because they kind of laugh every time I say their name because they it's funny to them so that's really hard because all their names sound similar and I'm not used to saying Korean names. So that's been kind of difficult learning their names, but um, something just plain interesting about being in Korea is that sometimes you'll see like couples walking around, like boyfriends and girlfriends, and they'll be wearing like matching shirts or sometimes full on matching outfits like down to the shoes. Like I saw a couple um like two days ago that were just walking around wearing matching shoes like who does that and uh, that'd be so weird to see in america and like a week ago i saw a couple walking around with matching shirts and pants like no big deal they're just walking around wearing the same outfit i don't know like you don't really see that in america it would be really weird i don't think many guys would be down for that and that'd be weird if they were like it's something that in America like if I didn't even know that people did that here in Korea and I was back in America and dating someone I don't think it would ever 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 cross my mind like hey let's get some matching shoes and wear them around never like that wouldn't even pop in my head how'd that even happen so anyway um something that just in general is really great about all this is uh, I didn't write this one down. That was kind of off the top of my head. Um, I really like my coworkers. They're great, and we've had lots of fun together. Um, I oh shoot! I just remembered. I have another story to tell you, but I can't fit it in this video. But it involves church. <sighs> I'll have to tell you later because it's actually really, really great. So anyway, I should get going now. I have to go teach kindergarten. But I hope that you also don't forget to feel awesome. Yay! Love you. Bye.